Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nog. Welcome along to the qualifying session for the Bahrain Grand Prix Round 3 of Mice Career Mode in F1 2017. So, first of all, we've got our qualifying goal right here given to us by our agent and the team is looking for us to qualify in 15th place or higher, which hopefully we'll be able to do given our pace at the end of FP3. Our practice demons though, they caught up with us and we lost rich fuel mix right at the start of our flying lap for our first run out, but um, we managed to soldier on and by the end of the first lap, we did manage to get rich fuel mix back, which was really nice. And we managed to cross the line with a time of 1.35.4, which put us in provisional seventh. But we found out at the end of the stream, we had a major issue with the gearbox. Not really sure what it was, but um, yeah, we just completely lost all sync to the gearbox. I was shifting down, the gears were just not happening. There was like a massive delay between me shifting and the gears actually cycling through. So yeah, gearbox issues plagued us at this session. Um, starting to regret not taking the new gearbox but um hey you learn from your mistakes but um yeah as you can see really struggling to get through the gears i was like trying to go up the gears it just was not happening at all we lost complete and uh, sync so not a good um start at all to qualifying but taking a risk on our time i decided to sit back in the garage and wait out the rest of the session with our time it was ninth by the time we got back to the garage and hopefully we would get through to the uh q2 and like I said, by the skin of our teeth, we got through in 14th position with the, the 135.4. Um, our teammate, unfortunately, Roman Grosjean, did not make it through. He qualified in 16th place. But uh, I say unfortunately, but it's all good for us because it um, helps us out in the rivalry and team battle with him. Carrying on from Q1, uh, the gearbox sync issue hit us straight on our first lap again. So... Um, yeah, we was coming down to the end of the first sector here, tried to turn in, shift down, and it just was not shifting down. So, um, yeah, I abandoned the run and headed straight back to the garage. We got straight back out on the track, and, um, yeah, we put in another flying lap. We hit a 134.8, six tenths quicker than what we achieved in Q1. But because of the amount of time we'd taken to um, you know, go out, come back in, go out again, we were actually out of time in the session. So that was going to be the only lap that we could actually put in. But as we Q1, by the skin of our teeth, we managed to get through into the final session with the 134.8, um, one tenth quicker than Carlos Sainz in the Toro Rosso, but a full six tenths up on Nico Hochelberg down in 11th place. As the darkness sets in in the Bahrain Desert, we went out for a three lap Q3 stint. First one wasn't too good, we lost out on Rich Mix and unfortunately we only managed to pull off a 1 minute 40.2 but by the end of the second run we actually got our uh, fuel mix back and we was able to put in quite a good lap as you can see here we was following Raikkonen around the track as he dives into the pits second time around we managed to get a 135.4 so a massive improvement nearly five seconds faster than our first run but um it was our last run, which was the best one since we had the full fuel mix for the entire lap. As you can see, we've got a pretty nice exit into one, nice and tidy through two and three. As we head down to the end of the first sector, we are already just over half a second up on our previous time. A little lock up on the front right there as we end the first sector and into this nice little sweeping section. But um, yeah, considering what we were taking this at the beginning of P1, um, I think we're pretty happy with this. I wasn't quite as aggressive as I could have been, but um, nonetheless, I was still happy with the way I took the corner. Tried to get the power down nice and early as we head on to what I believe is the hardest corner of the circuit. It's so hard because you've got to break and it's like um, turn at the same time, so it's really easy to lock up. But we actually got it quite wrong on that lap and started to lose out on time. We, we went too deep um, and went out wide, but um, now it's a clear run to the end of sector two almost into this nice fast left-hander corner it's like a double left-hander you sweep out and then you sweep back in towards the apex and we come around now the right-hander this is another one it comes it comes up really quickly there's no brake markers um on that corner so i actually got that one a bit wrong as well i went i think i went down to third there and then actually went up to the fourth but now power down again hoping and praying we can improve on our time as we head down to the final corner are we going to take it nicely yes not a bad entry a little bit too much curve possibly but not too bad nonetheless and now we race across the line and we manage to take four tenths off the time we get a 135.0 putting it in a provisional ninth and that's where we finish up guys so ninth on the grid is where we would start the race i say would because unfortunately i am going to take a bit of a penalty and replace the gearbox we've had so many gearbox issues in this race i'm going to replace the gearbox i was contemplating whether or not to take um some engine penalty points um but i think the fuel mix is okay fuel mix isn't as important in the race 
as it has been in qualifying. So um, I think I can live with a dodgy fuel mix. It's just a gearbox. I don't want to um, have too much trouble within the race. So I will be taking a five place grid penalty to start us in 14th, but still ahead of our teammate. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Give me your feedback. Tried to get the power down nice and early as we head on to what I believe is the hardest corner of the circuit. It's so hard because you've got to brake and it's like um turn at the same time. So it's really easy to lock up. But we actually got it quite wrong on that lap and started to lose out on time. We, we went too deep um, and went out wide. But um, now it's a clear run to the end of sector two. Almost into this nice fast left-hander corner. It's like a double left-hander. You sweep out and then you sweep back in towards the apex. And we come around now, the right-hander. This is another one. It comes, it comes up really quickly. There's no brake markers um, on that corner. So I actually got that one a bit wrong as well. I went, I think I went down to third there and then actually went up to the fourth. But now, power down again. Hoping and praying we can improve on our time as we head down to the final corner. Are we going to take it nicely? Yes, not a bad entry. A little bit too much curve possibly, but not too bad nonetheless. And now we race across the line and we manage to take four tenths off the time. We get a 135-0, putting it in a provisional ninth. And that's where we finish up, guys. So ninth on the grid is where we would start the race. I say would because, unfortunately, I am going to take a bit of a penalty and replace the gearbox. We've had so many gearbox issues in this race. I'm going to replace the gearbox. I was contemplating whether or not to take um, some engine penalty points um but i think the fuel mix is okay fuel mix isn't as important in the race as it has been in qualifying so um, i think i can live with a dodgy fuel mix it's just a gearbox i don't want to um have too much trouble within the race so i will be taking a five place grid penalty to start us in 14th but still ahead of our teammate Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the qualifying session. As always, like, comment, and subscribe down below. If you've got any suggestions of how I can further improve these videos, hopefully you're liking these sort of like reduced videos where I can post commentate and give my analysis afterwards. But make sure you tune in for the race, guys. It'll be coming up real soon. I've not yet recorded it, so it should be a fun, fun event. But until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.